Good morning, it's Chris Lingenfelder from Robot Advisors, and we're here in Atlanta this Monday morning. The sun is shining, it's Modex. Those halls hold the secret to robotic warehouse automation, and the team from Robot Advisors is here with me, and we're gonna find that for you. So if you're excited like I am, let's get going. Marin Chakarov, CEO of Fox Robotics, a Texas-based company um, in the fork truck movement business. Tell us about Fox. Chris, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, very, very happy to be here at Modex, uh, Modex and Exhibit um, here at the show. And um, Fox Robotics was founded in uh, 2017 by a collection of brilliant roboticists and AI and ML technologists. Uh, we sat down, and that's the part I'm incredibly proud of the team with and uh, focused on a very, very difficult problem to solve, which is the autonomous uh, unloading of trailers. Uh, why is that such a difficult problem? When you open the trailer door, you don't know what you're gonna see. There's no specific pattern of loading. Um, things move in transition, in transit. Uh, there's oftentimes dunnage, uh, airbags and other items. And so we focused on solving that problem. A few years later, we deployed our first vehicle in production Okay. Uh, in 2021. Yeah. Uh, since then, we've grown our fleet to circa 90 today, and we're literally at this inflection point of coming of age and facing unprecedented uh, demand and volumes and bookings in our business. So if you're here in Atlanta, you'll definitely want to check out Fox Robotics. They're right at the intersection of Halls B and C, so very easy to see. Right, big, bright orange booth. Um, Marin, thank you so much for your time. Chris, pleasure Appreciate to be it. here. Enjoy the rest of your time in Atlanta. Thank you, thank All you right. so much. So I'm here with Stephanie Hardy from Bastion Solutions. What I was struck by immediately is how big the booth is and the fact that you've, you're doing some pallet moving and, and case handling. Yep. Tell us what that's all about. Uh, well, number one, we are, Bastion Solutions is a systems integrator. So we wanted the big booth so we can show off all of our amazing partners on top of the work that we do. So we just announced a partnership with Mobu. We are gonna integrate their iFollow pallet AMRs as well as their um, Atlas, which is a automated pallet handling technology as well. So we have our Bastion Solutions pallet conveyor, which we manufacture. The iFollow is taking the pallets over to the palletizing station. We have our palletizing system and our Bastion Solutions case conveyor. And so we're just kind of showcasing the palletizing, depalletizing, and full pallet movement. As a systems integrator, we have a lot of amazing partners. Uh, behind you, you see AutoStore. We've done 100 AutoStore systems. A hundred robots? Oh, no, no, no. A hundred systems. That's 6.9 million bins. Oh, my goodness. So, and where's the largest? I happen to know it's in South America. It is. Who, it, can you tell us who it is? I can. That is the uh, world's largest auto store system was Defeaty down in South America. So. Well, we'll have to take, do a field trip to go see that. Yeah, let's go right now. All right. So I'm here with Dan Gilmore, who's been in this industry almost, uh, maybe longer than me, I don't know, a long time. Long while. Long while, um, but you start joined a startup here. Tell us about Robotion. Happy to, Chris. So we're here at uh, Modex 2024, really launching the company and the product uh, to marketplace uh, after a year and a half of uh, very significant uh, software development. So what we offer is what we call the Ro Robotion uh, Robotics Fulfillment Platform. Okay. It's a web-based, uh, software set of capabilities that allow companies to uh, integrate, manage, optimize, and orchestrate and optimize uh, use of robotics on the distribution center floor. We have three different autonomous mobile robot providers here, two different robotic picking arms here, all working together on one you know, common set of workflows and processes here. We don't think anybody else on the show floor is doing anything like this. And it really is not only what we're doing in show and tell mode here at the show, 
but really is reflective of the kind of capabilities we can bring to our customers to tie all these different types of equipment vendors together, not just from an integration perspective, but from an overall workflow perspective, and being able to add new robots, new vendors, new capabilities over time. People are underestimating the, the challenge it is if you don't do that, you're locked into a solution or locked into a software set. We give the opportunity to give you the flexibility to add different types of equipment and vendors uh, very, very easily, both currently and over time. So if you're here in Atlanta at Modex, come check out booth 3297, 3297. in the C Hall and look for this beautiful, large Robotion booth. You get to see it all. Dan, thank you so much. Chris, Good was, luck with the rest of the show. Chris, it was a pleasure. All right. I'm here in the Kapow booth. This is Rebecca and Noam um, from Kapow. Rebecca, tell us a little bit about the company. Kapow is an Israeli startup and Kapow has a unique technology, actually the only solution in the market that enables powering on the go for a mobile robot. So when you say powering on the go, what we're talking about is the robot actually can keep moving yeah. and charge the battery as it's moving. Tell us, Noam, how how do you do that? We have an infrastructure laying on the floor, no excavation, you just lay that all over. And the same solution goes on the bottom of the robot, and while it's going, we transfer okay, enough energy five times the amount the, the robot is need, uh, needs. Why five times? One fifth goes to the robot, and the rest of it goes to, char uh, to, to power the actual uh, uh, power supply that is on the robot, whether it's a battery, a lithium battery, a lead acid battery, super cap, or whatever. And in some cases, we can even eliminate the battery completely because imagine the robot hopping from one floor sticker to the other, floor antenna to the other. You don't need power to last you for five hours. So folks, if you're here in Atlanta, check out Kapow in Hall A, it's booth 12, 320. So Noam, thank, thank you so very much. much. Rebecca, really interesting thank technology. You. Thanks for sharing it with us. So I'm here with Peter Skov from UC Group, and we were just chatting before we started rolling here about how there's some differences in the US and Europe with regard to truck unloading. You were making the observation that in the US we're better at pallet unloading and in Europe. Now, why do you think that is? So I think right now you've got a very condensed structure, like in LA, where we put in from Seville Logistics, where I used to work, where we put in stretch from Boston Dynamics. We have in, in Europe, we have much more, um, container loaded uh, structures. So basically the Dutch companies like Yoda or Anchor, they create great solutions for loose load or pallet loading, while Boston, Muchin, Contoro, um, Pickle, they create solutions that are better for loose loaded. Well, we're interviewing several of those companies here on the floor this week here at Modex, and of course next week in Stuttgart, and you will be in Stuttgart as well. Will, so maybe we can get some more of your wisdom when I we're so. in uh, in Logimat. Yeah, Peter, thank you, you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. So I'm here with Brandon Fluger from MarketScale, which is a B2B intelligence company. We did an interview about manufacturing systems a couple weeks ago, you might have caught that, but uh, Brandon, tell everyone what else MarketScale does. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Um, we've got a lot of partners here. Um, some of the, the best, I guess, tech companies in the supply chain, automation space and robotics. We're really excited to be here and help them create more content, publish more content, really just educate and inspire their partners and the industry. That's what we're here and that's what this show is all about this week. Fantastic, and we're um, working on a partnership of working together, sharing stuff back and forth between MarketScale and Robot Advisors, so check that out on LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go find some interesting technology. Let's do it. All right. All right. Take care.